Hello, and today I will be teaching you probably the easiest way to make a 1.2.4 craft bucket server. For those of you who aren't familiar with this, it allows you to put plugins and whatnot into your server. So, in a sense, it's like a lot better than the default one. So, first of all, we're going to go to this website right here. Uh, the link will be in the description. And after a little bit, uh, this should pop up right here. Download now. It'll start downloading automatically. Um, click it. Run. This stuff just skip. Don't don't do anything with this. All right, and then you're gonna want to click install now. And this is the actual installation thing next next and then uh you pick jo what whichever java you have do you agree you're going to pick the file where you want it to send and then you sh that should come up to install i already have it installed you should probably just make a folder on your desktop saying like minecraft server so this is the server um you're not going to have any of these files right here because those are the world files to start the thing well actually what it there's an icon on your desktop that appears which is which actually starts the server it's a lot better than the other for one that you have to friggin code and whatnot so plugins this is where you put all the stuff well, all your plugins, obviously, you just extract it there. You don't really need to mess around with anything. The only th other thing in here is the server log, which, uh, one second. Um, this is where you do all the stuff. You can run crack servers. I, I have, the I bought the game that's just for my friends. Um, change all the configurations. Messages a day, ignore that. This generate structures is for like NPC villages, and yeah. Uh, let's see, online, mo yeah, S whitelist. That's if you're not running it off of Hamachi and you're port forwarding, you could do that. Uh, allow flight that allows people to use fly hacks without them getting kicked. Name, the world name, or level name, that's just the name. So once you start up a new one with a different name, it'll make a new file. There's always three. There's the server, there's the server, another, and then there's the end for the different, oh crap, what did I just do? For the different um, dimensions on it. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's just your editing. You don't even need to use a bat from there. You can just click this uh, and something's already running. Lovely. Oh, I already have it up. Let me just stop this. So you're going to click it. Um, it takes a lo It'll take less time for you to load up because you don't have all this crap plugins that I do. And this is something new. This will pop up. This is very easy for those who aren't very com familiar with the commands in game. You can um, manage all the plugins. I don't use this, but it's good for other people. You can also change the name in game, the seed. Uh, let's see what else. I haven't really looked at this. You can, I'm pretty sure, give people stuff through this. Yeah. Alright, so I'll leave that up and I'll show you what I mean. So, load this up. Multiplier, your server, and yeah. This is the one I have right now. Kind of crappy, but yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that you can actually give yourself stuff now. 
Also, another cool thing is it shows the players online. Aha. Here, you right-click on the person, you say give item, and then you could give them whatever you want. It's pretty cool, actually. So that way, unless you don't have TMI, you don't need to remember everything. So let's say I want to give myself some redstone ore and amount. Uh, let's, let's, 1,000. Can't do that. Let's try 64. Give. And there's my 64. So, yep, that's it. That's how you install the, uh... That is the easiest way to make a bucket server. And if you want to join my server, the info will be in the description. Right, let me just... Oh, crap. Uh, so yeah, it's mostly active, and... Have fun with this.